All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, January 4th, 2018, and this video is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so today we have the moon shifting into Leo, which is kind of nice. Uh, maybe going into the weekend feeling a bit creative, uh, maybe expressive, like having some fun. Uh, things like that. We do have uh, Mars getting very close to Jupiter. They're going to conjoin over the weekend. So we could start to feel a bit of uh, increased motivation, uh, maybe confidence, a great time to do things that we may otherwise not do. Uh, so that's going into the weekend. No major aspects today. We do have some minor lunar aspects um, activating that Mars and Jupiter as well as uh, the trine we'll have this weekend with Mercury and Uranus. So let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, here's the sky for this Thursday. We have the moon shifting into the head of Leo here um, for today and then going into the weekend, more of that Leo energy. So in the larger context, we did just have a full moon in Gemini, which was earlier in the week on Monday. So we are still in what's called the disseminating phase of the cycle, uh, which means the energies are still quite high. Uh, there can still be awareness, but uh, more specifically, it's about implementing a lot of the insights we've gained and just uh, continuing to build some momentum from that full moon. So today uh, with the moon in Leo, great day for expressing ourselves, however we might do that, maybe even expressing our feelings just very generally. Um, very good for creative stuff, getting into that side of things, and all in all, just wanting a bit of entertainment or a bit of, of fun in our life is sometimes the case. So good to kind of get into that um, type of energy. We could notice themes pertaining to this. And yeah, again, as we sort of express ourselves and get involved with this playful, creative, lighthearted side, uh, we could find that that does balance our emotions quite well. So that's the uh, moon there. Of course, we still have the sun and Venus in uh, Sagittarius. So the greater uh, picture of everything is this focus on where we can expand our horizons, right? Where we can continue to think big, see the power of manifestation, use a bit of inspiration. In fact, as we go into the weekend, Mars is going to be getting closer to the ruler of Sagittarius, Jupiter. So this conjunction only happens about once every three years. Um, it's usually very buoyant, where we feel a bit of this, again, confidence, motivation, and drive uh, heightened. It will go exact on Saturday, but um, it's starting to get pretty close. So it uh, could be a good day for starting to feel that. Um, if there's anything that might you might want to do approaching the weekend that does require confidence, does require motivation and drive, could be a good weekend to do that if you're guided to. Now, the moon is going to be squaring up to uh, that conjunction here today. So I think the message of the day is to kind of maybe start to integrate this new type of energy. And I think to maybe get involved with that confidence or inspiration in a way that's constructive, right? If you feel a little bit of a clash between that side, the motivating side, and then maybe just wanting to have fun with the moon and Leo or express yourself, or that creative energy, uh, good to see how you can just take it kind of one step at a time, constructive without rushing into things with Mars, um, and then also maybe initiating things if there's not enough Mars, um, seeing that there is opportunity, right? But then actually taking action on opportunity, anything that can be constructive with the square is fantastic. So that's gonna be mostly the first half of the day for most of us, but um, we do also have a grand trine taking place with the moon. It's involving the Mercury trine Uranus we have this weekend as well. So this is uh, very good for new ideas. This is actually the third trine we've had with Mercury and Uranus since Mercury went retrograde. So, um, and it's I think always fallen on a weekend, uh, but this is this uh, sort of wanting to mix things up. So I think it's a great day for this. Um, if there's anything new you want to try, maybe it involves learning, maybe learning some new things, uh, communicating ourselves in a much more free spirited way, maybe mixing up that routine a little bit, whatever brings in a little bit of change, a little bit more freedom in terms of expressing who you truly are um, or making those changes for more freedom in your life can be a great day for that. Spontaneity, eccentricity, all of that good stuff with this 
Uh, very nice grand trine we have today. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. No major aspects going exact today. We are still perhaps feeling a bit of this more easygoingness with the relationship side of things from yesterday. Still that creative energy as well and the more imaginative and dreamy side, uh, which is nice. But uh, probably the strongest thing today is these uh, lunar aspects integrating this uh, Mars over Jupiter going exact over the weekend of a bit more of this confidence, motivation, drive. And I think today, uh, mixing some things up with that Uranus energy, learning some new things, gaining some new insights, and fundamentally with the Moon and Leo, fantastic day for expressing ourselves and bringing in a bit of fun and entertainment. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon for the weekend forecast. Take care.